This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruschi. And we are taking your calls on this segment. And you are welcome to call 24-7. And we may use them on a future one. 8885-KILLER. 888-554-5537 is the phone number to call. And uh, share your thoughts on the many, 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 many stories we are covering for you here on the podcast. Tony and Stacy Cole with you on this one. And let's jump over to a phone call about uh, the nurse of death known as Lucy Letby. Uh, let's hear uh, what uh, this individual has to say. Hi, my name is Amanda. I'm from South St. Paul, and I'm actually calling on the Lucy Letby story. Um, I'm a nurse myself, and I also have had two premature babies, so I'm very familiar with uh, neonatal nursing. And I truthfully don't believe they have any proof that this nurse killed any baby. I don't know how you can prove an air embolism. Um, it's, you know, a one pound, some ounce, uh, but, you know, babies that are one pound and some odd ounces, you know, their survival chances are are not very good, um, somewhere around the 50% mark, depending on their gestational age. And I just am not seeing evidence that this nurse killed any baby. And I think it's, preposterous and I think it's being sensationalized and that this nurse likely is very unlucky that she was on duty during a lot of this. Maybe she worked a lot. Um, they said, you know, she was one of the only nurses that was a consistent presence throughout the, you know, that time period. And I think she's a scapegoat. I think parents want, you know, someone to blame when something happens to their baby. Sorry, my child is in the background. So yeah, that's my personal thoughts. Maybe they will present something in the future that is more proof that she did something. But at this point, I don't. I think that they're t- blaming her because they want someone to blame. And the hospital doesn't want the accountability. They'd rather just have it be attributed to one staff member. So those are my thoughts. Uh, thank you kindly. Bye bye. Um, I just don't think you're paying attention. <laughs> It's my answer. Well, if, and, and if, Tony, if, I'll, yeah. you you give you say your piece, and then I'm going to say mine because Amanda just reminded me of something. So go ahead. I mean, there there is so much evidence against Nursey Nurse Nursey Nurse Lucy Letby. Uh, there is, I mean, and in, in not only just in the hospital uh, of of the things that the way that she was acting towards parents, the procedures that she was caught doing uh, in her own home, she was writing things about saying, "I did it." Uh, no one's going to love me or marry me. I'm never going to have children. I don't know how you get this person any more dead to rights than you do nurse Lucy Letby uh, with this case. So, I mean, if you're feeling that way, great, but I'm sorry. Uh, facts are facts. Truth is truth. Um, she can plead not guilty all she wants. And, and yes, d- is there a higher uh, mortality rate and such when we talk about uh, premature babies? Of course, but there's a pattern of behavior here, a pattern of things that continue to happen. And I think the evidence is extremely strong. All I can say is Google, do a little research. Um, Maybe you haven't listened to enough of the shows where we talk about this, Uh, but uh, that does not equate to uh, that. There's no evidence. There's plenty of evidence. You, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be rude, but you just don't seem to be uh, have, have consumed it yet. uh, If if that's how your feelings are uh, at this moment in time. But I, I can also um, relate to Amanda that she's, you know, first of all, she's a nurse. So, um, and there's kind of a, I'm a veterinary nurse, which human nurses don't like when veterinary technicians call themselves nurses, but that's a whole other story for mm-hmm. a whole other podcast. Um, but but we get a little defensive of of the profession because, you know, for the most part, everybody in the profession is there to help creatures. And it's real easy to say that the hospital wants a scapegoat. Um, There were some staffing issues, the hospital, you know, are they using Lucy as the scapegoat for their inadequacies? Possibly. But like you said, take a look at the note that she wrote at, that they found at her home. It says, I am evil. I did this. Well, the woman, what did you do, Lucy? The woman's working all these different shifts, these things are only happening on her shifts. So the hospital's equipment, medication, practices, 
They look at all that. And the only times mm -hmm. these things are happening is when let be's there. Yeah. And in her note, it says, I killed them on purpose because I'm not good enough. Yeah. Who did she kill? I mean, yeah. have you written a note that said you killed them on purpose? I never have. Would you write a note that says I killed them on purpose if you're being accused of things? No. Well, no. no. That's just, it's nothing one would ever contemplate doing. It's just something one, it doesn't make sense. It, it, it doesn't. So I'm sorry, but um, that's my answer to that. I, I, I couldn't be, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. it. I guess the answer is read more uh, because there is so much against Nurse Lucy Letby uh, that it's it's kind of silly. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I could understand if I was trying to pay attention to something or I was uh, making a judgment on something I didn't have enough information on. I just want to make the judgment on it if I don't have enough information. I don't know uh, where she's coming from saying that there isn't a ton of evidence against Lucy Letby. And it's probably just a fact of she just dove into the story. And on the surface, it, it doesn't necessarily, you know, until you dive in and hear every single case that they've got against her, every single death of a child and attempted uh, death attempted murder of a child, um, you might look at it and go, wow, we're blaming a nurse for a bunch of babies dying in a NICU. I mean, oh, they're and already sick. That's why they're there. They're compromised in some way. Um, but the more you dive in and look at this, she is the common factor in every single one of these child's incidents. She is the common denominator in every single death. And that's that's a lot. It is. I mean, it is a ton of information against her. So, I mean, yes, innocent until proven guilty, but uh, I think we're well on the way to that uh, because it just goes on and on and on. And other medical professionals caught her doing things that she should not be doing. Uh, it's a huge list. So I, I, I'm not going to spend more time on someone who didn't, I guess, do their homework before commenting, but that's the truth. There, There is far more more than I think that she realizes. So, yeah, um, I guess my rule of thumb is before I, I, I say I don't think something is there, I, I want to read more about it. So that would be all I would say. Study up and then tell me what you think. I'd love to, I would love to hear from Amanda again. Tell me tell me what you think after you dive in a little bit more and see some more of the evidence. And and if she still feels that way, tell me why. Yeah. I, I just want to know why. And I, I totally appreciate the phone call. I think that's, you know, it's great of you to be listening and and to be speaking as a nurse. Um, we want more of that feedback. Absolutely. We want to hear from people in the profession. Tell us what your experience is. And what if you saw these things happening in your NICU? What would you think if you had a colleague that was present for every single one of these deaths? Yeah. Read more about it and then get back to us. And if you still feel the same way, I'd be very, very curious. This is an examination of the hidden human condition. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. In fact, if you only want to learn about Lucy Letby, we have a podcast for that. It's called Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story. You can search for it wherever you get podcasts and uh, listen to it in, uh, in great detail. And it only focuses on Lucy Letby and it's literally every single case. Uh, and every single accusation, we break it down there for you, including uh, the current courtroom coverage. Uh, so please do check that out. Uh, I'm Tony Bruschi. Be sure to press subscribe wherever you download podcasts. You don't miss any episodes of this podcast wherever you may be listening. Stay with us.